The course mapping tool for the MCAT 2015 exam was developed to assist advisors and faculty in identifying the courses at their school that teach the MCAT 2015 content. The tool is a pre-formatted Excel spreadsheet that provides an interactive way to filter the MCAT 2015 exam content by course level, content category, topic, or foundational concept, as well as search by topic. The tool prompts you to match MCAT 2015 exam content to courses, so you can see the different combinations of courses at your school which teach the exam content tested. The information in the tool has the final MCAT 2015 testable content. This tool has four tabs. The first tab is an introduction tab, which provides an overview of the tool. The second tab is the key tab, which explains the headings of the columns in the tool, explains the significance of the cell shaded in orange, provides an overview of the MCAT 2015 exam structure, including the four scientific inquiry and reasoning skills, and defines the eight entering medical school competencies from the Scientific Foundations for Future Physicians report. The third tab is the sample course mapping sheet, which is a tab we'll be using in this demonstration. And finally, the fourth tab is the Your Course Mapping Tool tab, which is where you will enter your own courses and mark if the topic and subtopic is taught at your school. In this demo, we're going to work with the sample course mapping sheet that shows several courses in which MCAT 2015 content may be taught. You will work with the tab Your Course Mapping Tool, which has some pre-populated content which cannot be edited and other blank space in purple for you to fill in courses and mark if the topic and subtopic are taught in a certain course at your school. I will discuss how to do this. To help guide you in interpreting the tool What's on the MCAT 2015 exam and map the MCAT 2015 exam content to courses at your school, we've laid out the different parts of the exam. All the columns have down arrows indicating that you can filter, which can help you map MCAT 2015 content to courses. The first column is skills, the scientific inquiry and reasoning skills that are required to solve scientific problems. The foundational concepts are the big ideas in the sciences that provide the foundation for learning in medical school. This column also includes any entering medical school's competencies, part of the foundational concept which are explained in the key. Content category contains the topics and subtopics that are needed to understand the foundational concepts. The topic lists the topic and subtopics within the context of the content category, which may be tested on the MCAT 2015 exam. Topic taught at your school indicates that this topic is taught at your school. As the tool is completed, those topics which have been marked as taught in a course will change from red to white and no to yes. Note this column is filled automatically as a result of input in columns N through DI. Topic on current MCAT indicates that the topic appears on the current exam. Please note with the introduction of first semester biochemistry to the MCAT 2015 exam, some biology topics that are currently tested may be tested on the MCAT 2015 exam as they are taught in biology and as they are taught in first semester biochemistry. You should review the content outlines on the current exam for more information. In teal are the seven columns in which the course levels in which the topics and subtopics are taught. These columns are pre-populated with X's to indicate the course level at which the topic or subtopic is taught. Bio, two semester introductory sequence of biology. BC, first semester biochemistry. OC, two semester sequence of organic chemistry. GC, two semester sequence of general chemistry. PHY, two semester sequence of introductory physics. PSY, one semester of introductory psychology. And SOC, one semester of introductory sociology. In purple is the area you would complete. On the sample course mapping sheet in row 6, there is a list of 13 courses where the subtopics and topics for the MCAT 2015 exam are taught. You would add your own course in row 6 in the Your Course Mapping tool in columns N through DI. Then you would mark an X if the corresponding topic and subtopic are taught in that course. As you do this, the cell changes from purple to yellow, and the cell in column E changes from no to the word yes. I will provide more detail on how to do this. You will also see little red triangles in the upper right-hand corner of many cells. 
These cells contain comments. If you click on the spreadsheet and hover over a cell that has a red triangle, the comment will appear. When reviewing the topics, it's important to pay attention to the comment boxes so you can view all the subtopics associated with the topic. In the cells shaded in orange, the topics or subtopics are at a different course level compared to the corresponding topic. If a comment box does not appear when you hover over a cell with a red triangle, you should make sure the comment isn't hidden by right-clicking and selecting Show or Hide Comments. There are three tasks associated with the tool which lead to the ultimate goal of identifying courses for students to complete to prepare for the MCAT 2015 exam and also identify any holes where topics and subtopics may not be taught at courses at your school. The first task is filtering. Filtering by course level enables you to view and then send a list of topics and associated subtopics within a particular course level to the faculty in that department. Here's an example of how to filter. Let's start with filtering by organic chemistry, so only those topics and subtopics indicated as being taught in a two-semester sequence of organic chemistry are displayed. Click on the down arrow next to the OC cell and deselect the check mark next to the word blanks. Click OK. The spreadsheet changes, so only those topics and subtopics indicated as being taught in a two-semester sequence of organic chemistry are displayed. Note that you can tell we have filtered by OC by the little filter symbol next to the word OC. You are able to filter in any cell that has a downward pointing arrow. When something is filtered, it has the filter sign. To remove the filter, click on the symbol and click on the box next to the word blanks so a check mark appears next to the word blanks. This will remove the filter. Once you have filtered the topics by OC, you may wish to distribute this spreadsheet to the organic chemistry department so they can determine in what specific courses in your school the topics and subtopics are taught. Note, faculty should check the comment boxes in the cells with the topics and content categories so they can see the topics listed as well as the context in which the topics will be displayed as described in the content category. For more information on the topics and content categories, you can use the tool What's on the MCAT 2015 exam, available on the MCAT 2015 website. The next task is adding a course. In our sample course mapping sheet, we have already listed several possible courses in columns N through Z, in which the subtopics and topics may be taught. You can add your own courses in row 6 of the columns in the tab Your Course Mapping Tool. Let's do an example and add a course to column AA. Let's call our course Health Policy. Go to column AA and type Health Policy. I can now peruse the topics and subtopics to see if any of them are taught in this course using the syllabus I have of the particular course. This leads us to the next step of using filtering to check off which topics are taught in which courses. Let's continue with the course that we just added. This is an interdisciplinary course which teaches sociology and public policy, so I'm going to want to view all the topics and subtopics filtered by SOC. First, check to make sure there are no filters in the other columns and re remove the filters as needed. Note. If you have more than one column filtered, the spreadsheet will display only those topics and subtopics that are listed as being taught in those course levels, i.e. PSY and SOC. Then I will filter by SOC. You can view the topics and subtopics that the developers of the MCAT 2015 exam have identified as being taught in a one semester introduction to sociology course. Using the syllabus for my new course Health Policy as a guide, I can see what topics and subtopics will be taught in this course. By viewing the topics and subtopics, by hovering over the cells of the topics and comparing this with my course syllabus, I can see that healthcare disparities, health disparities, and part of social class is taught in my course. I'm going to indicate that the subtopic poverty as part of the topic social class is not taught in my course. To do this, I'm going to go to the column where my course is listed and put an X indicating that the topics and subtopics are taught in my course. Notice that as I add an X, the color changes from purple to yellow. 
Because poverty is not taught in my course, I'm going to add a comment. I click on the cell, right click and scroll down to select insert comment. I'm going to add that poverty is not taught. If I go back to column E, topic taught at your school, I can see that it has changed from no to yes, indicating that healthcare disparities, health disparities, and social class are taught in my course. Notice that social class has a yes, even though a comment was added. When using the tool, you should be sure to identify any comments which are listed in the purple cells that may have been added by faculty and advisors. Like we did with the health policy course, you can continue to add courses, review the topics and subtopics listed in column D, and put an X in the cell in purple if the topics and subtopics are taught in that course, thus completing the tool. Although different departments will filter topics by different course levels, the tool functions best if everyone can work off of one spreadsheet, so as you check off in what courses different topics and subtopics are taught, you can see the topic taught at your school information change from no to yes automatically. You can then scan this column and view the cells that don't have yellow X's in them to see what topics and subtopics may or may not be taught at your school. We would suggest that one version of this spreadsheet be saved on a shared drive or website. If you are unable to work off of one spreadsheet, you may copy and paste the X's from previous spreadsheets. However, you should be cautious in making sure you are copying the correct information. After you have added courses, reviewed the syllabi to see if the topics and subtopics are taught, and completed the spreadsheet as such, you can identify the courses students would need to complete to be prepared for the MCAT 2015 exam, identify any holes where content is not taught at your school, and research options to fill any possible gaps. A final completed tool will show many more X's and have many more yeses in column E than no's. You can use the completed tool to create a list of courses students will need to take to prepare for the MCAT 2015 exam. Remember these tips when using the course mapping tool for the MCAT 2015 exam. Don't forget to check out the comment boxes indicated by the triangle in the upper right hand corner of each cell. Students need to know the topics and the subtopics which are listed in the comment boxes within the context of the content category. As you are working on the tool, make sure you are filtering only the columns that you want. You can check to see if a column is filtered by seeing if there is a down arrow or filter symbol showing. For more information, view the tool What's on the MCAT 2015 exam, available on the MCAT 2015 website. For questions, please contact MCAT2015 at aamc.org.